Prime Minister, how many flights will take off prior to the election day to Rwanda? I said the first flight will go in July. It wasn't exactly the ideal start. The day after the election was called, Rishi Sunak appearing on LBC. The first flights will go in July. If I'm elected, uh, we will get the flights off. I'll know after after the election. So there'll be no flights prior to the election? Yeah, but the preparation work has already gone on. But the Prime Minister so enjoyed the scrutiny, he decided to come back and spend an hour taking calls. You'll do your full term? Yes, Nick, but again, look, we're here to talk about... About this election, okay, right. So we're here to talk about the choice people faith on July, uh, face on July fourth. The about them, and he wasn't the only party leader to do so. Would you be happy to serve in the cabinet under Prime Minister Corbyn? Well, I didn't think we'd win either of those, Graham. Mm. There's no getting away from that. And certainly... No, just, a, just a simple yes or no. Graham, it's a pure hypothetical. Sir Keir Starmer also rose to the challenge. You, you, you campaigned for him because you thought you wouldn't win. Look, I campaigned for Labour. Had they won, would you have accepted a post in Mr Corbyn's cabinet? I don't think we were going to win. I don't no, think anybody you, you thought know, we were going very bright to win. Man. You know that's not answering the question, Sir Keir. And after eight attempts, the topic eventually moved on. But sadly, it appears his shadow education secretary, Bridget Phillipson, didn't get the memo. Trans woman with a penis would use which lavatory? Well, look, I think it's important that all people feel safe and have dignity and yeah, but She needs to go to the lavatory. Which, which one does she use? But I think there are a range of options that would. Well, she hasn't got a range of options, thinking. respectfully. She's got a she's got a door with a woman on it. And she's got a door with a bloke on it. Which one does she go in, Bridget Phillipson? Well, many businesses. And, and there was no answer again after eight attempts. Equally as important as answering a question is being across your brief, a lesson which the shadow schools minister Catherine McKinnell learned when she was schooled on her own policy. How many breakfasts is it? What is the gross figure? Uh, I don't have that figure to hand in terms of the number of uh, breakfasts. You don't know how many children we're talking about. And she was sent back to the classroom on other areas within her brief. What is the number of pupils in private education in this country? I don't have that exact figure you don't. to hand right, right okay. now. The Conservative Defence Secretary Grant Shapps made a big play of a policy to abolish stamp duty for first-time buyers. Mm. I've got it as £425,000. What is your policy? Uh, if you've got a number in front of you, you're probably right, because I was saying it off the top of my head. I found it here. You're right. It's £425 million. The only issue is that he got his sums wrong. I think it's 425,000, Secretary State, not million. Whilst the Northern Ireland Secretary, Chris Heaton-Harris, decided to go on the attack over the issue of ULES. How much is ULES at the moment in London? Forgive me for not being able to answer this question. I don't know how much ULES costs. I, I, I could probably have asked... Um, uh, Do you give might have been an idea nice... to find out, Mr Heaton-Harris? Well, probably. His defence that it wasn't within his brief was a trick tried by David Johnston when he didn't know what child benefit was. The only issue is that David Johnston is the children's minister. Uh, That, I'm afraid, I don't know. Is your title Minister for Children? It is Minister for Children, And you you don't know? Uh, uh, You don't know what the child allowance is? Throughout the election campaign, the Conservatives have persistently raised the issue of migration, which means they're frequently asked about it. But the Home Secretary, James Cleverley, was seemingly stumped when he was asked one particular question. How many people are currently on the Bibby Stockholm, Home Secretary? I don't have the... I I don't have the precise... uh, Do you have an idea? ...figures for today. Um... I don't want to guess. Sir Keir Starmer also came up short when he was asked to defend what a working person was. A working person is someone um, who works their living... I've um, got that. ..and um, uses our public services... The person I have so in my Simon when I, when I have, the person I have in my mind, Nick, when I say um, working people is people who earn their living, rely on our services, and don't really have the ability to write a check when they get into trouble. The lesson for politicians and the two main parties: always be across your brief, know your policies, and when you're asked a question, it's just best to answer it.